Hello, I'm Scott Brown, Greenwind and other home energies. As I was explaining here before, as I was trying to get this to go through, very little angle. The less of an angle it takes, in an even circle, to get this to slide through, the better. You see, that's still pretty tight. When the enamel wears off of this, she'll slide it's very, very freely. Matter of fact, when it's perfectly straight, it slides well. That's what you want. Trying to push it over in an angle like this and like this. I looked at the earlier video I was showing you when I was showing you with this long piece here. When you're looking at it like this, you see me move over a few inches or so. My hand is back about a foot. So, my angle is actually only moving about that far. Not like, you know, look in the video when it comes straight at you, that little bit looks like my hand is real close here and I was doing this much of an angle. You don't want to do that and you know, widen that hole out too big. You don't want this to show you like this. This is tight here, this is tight here. You really don't want to do too much. Very little angle at all. You see how this still kind of grabs, that's fine. show you on this. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh. Okay. See how this is where the enamel is already wore off. You see how freely that goes? Pulls up and down nice and easy. Doesn't stick. So that enamel will wear off with just a little bit of tightness. And that's, I wouldn't worry about it too much. If you really want to get this shiny after you've taken the um, acetone or fingernail polish remover, which is acetone, after you get that all clear, you can take some ashes and a piece of notebook paper, put the ashes in the notebook paper and wrap it around it, move that up and down real fast, and that fine carbon will polish this and quieten your machine up quite a bit. This here is uh, 14 ounce or 396 gram. This is 15 ounce or 425 ounce or 425 gram. These are not the size we're using. If we were using these, I'd have to use those little tomato paste cans to go inside those. Pretty close to the size of that one there. This one here is a 15 ounce. And I guess that's a 12 ounce or 10 ounce. And those little tomato cans that actually fit inside there. You see this ridge here? This is, well, we don't normally have to deal with that. But uh, on the edge here where you cut these off, that's pretty sharp right there. I'll show you what I normally do with those. I push the spoon down on it. Give it a roll. Because I save these cans. And in order to test them, see how well they slide. See, I could drink out of that. It doesn't catch it anymore. And look at my size. This is the size we are working with. 822 grams. 29 ounces. This is the same diameter as that one there. 13 ounce. One pound, 13 ounce. 822 grams. 29 ounce. Whatever.